Marco from Cancun and today we are going to help you out identifying which areas are good fit for you to live and how Cancun is divided starting from the hotel zone, the central or downtown and how the central area is divided, the fancy area that it's in between uh, hotel zone and central which is um, um, Puerto Cancun and the very new uh, developing area, development areas that you might be interested in taking a look. So let's get started. We're going to talk about a little bit of um, moving into Cancun and a little bit of the basics of getting here and there to identify where you are at Cancun. So as you know, we moved from Tokyo to Cancun uh, 16 years ago, but um, Cancun is an area that is very popular because it's uh, easy to access from North America, from Canada, from Central America and South America, so as from the Caribbean and from Europe, it's uh, way more convenient to uh, fly to Cancun rather than to Mexico City. And Cancun, it's in one of the 32 states of Mexico and it's located on the Yucatan Peninsula. The state that Cancun belongs is uh, Quintana Roo and it's on the northern part of the state. Um, as for uh, the population till 2020 we already uh, reached nearly 900,000 people living here. Not the case when I came 16 years ago that we were under 700,000 people. So we are nearly a million um, people uh, village that has turned into a big, big city right now. So uh, what you see in the map, um, it's the Cancun development as for 2021. Um, the area that looks further down that it's facing to the Caribbean is the famous hotel zone where you have all the fancy hotels, you know, and all the tourist attractions mainly uh, for enjoying uh, on one side the sea and on the other side the lagoon. The, the lagoon is also a very nice big area to enjoy and have fun. Um, but in terms of living, um, living in the hotel zone might not be the most convenient thing to do as you have to commute quite a long time in just one road every single time that you need to go to, uh, to the bank or to the school or to work or to see somebody or to eat out or just to go to supermarket is not the most convenient or easiest thing to do. So Cancun was built like 50 years or a little bit more than 50 years ago um, by um, developers from the uh, from the entire country and the majority came from uh, the Yucatan state because we are in the Yucatan Peninsula um, and those people needed to to be in a place they need they need to, to live somewhere uh, while they were building all these massive hotels so downtown was built uh, or was born because of that a lot of people says that it's chaotic but um, in within this chaos there is some sort of order as you can see there's only one road Avenida Cuculcano Boulevard Cuculcan that is the one that takes you to downtown um, but downtown really got started um, in this little area I'm going to make it bigger um, and Cancun it's um, like uh, in a way it's like New York because it's made um, or divided by apples, the big apple and uh, super manzana and then we have the apples that they're manzanas within the same super manzana and then you have um, the name of the street and then the, the particular place your house or your department is going to be located. So um, here what I'm trying to show you in the map is the very beginning of Cancun. This area, these five little super manzanas or apples, big apples, were at the beginning of uh, downtown. As in the center, we have SM or super manzana or big app or big apple that it's uh, 28. Uh, now it's really uh, well known for its mercado or um, tourist market. 
And surrounding, you know, we have Super Manzana 24 and so far and so on. Super Manzana 23 and 26 and so far. The, the interesting thing is that even if it looks chaotic, this is made in um, flower shape. So um, this was the very beginning and this is considered the very central area or the central of downtown. If you go further down to, to um, the hotel zone, you will find out that this is not exactly in the center, um, but you will see that this big um, avenue, it's the one that connects the very north part of um, Quintana Roo to the very south part of the state. And within the premises of Cancun City, it's called Avenida Tulum or uh, uh, Tulum Avenue. And once it turns into a um, highway, we call it the Colosio or the, ne the number of uh, the highway that is 307. Um, all these little areas are part of the old downtown or Centro or La Zona Antigua. Um, and it's connecting not just to the hotel zone but to the very uh, newest uh, development areas such as Puerto Cancun that it's in between downtown and in between hotel zone um, you know for fancy people that they want to live you know the dream come true of uh, enjoying both downtown and uh, hotel zone life this is the place to go um, usually wealthy people are um, you know buying departments and condos there uh, the other areas, you know, uh, further to the north area are more like for uh, people who came from different states of Mexico uh, to find a better living. So there are a bunch of uh, um, apartments and houses of all sorts for people that they're middle class and below. Um, and there are a lot of town uh, shops and um, very convenient um, places to get certain things when you're living here like uh, tires and you know uh, carpenters and uh, fabrics and and construction items and so far and so on um, but not really for touristic pro um, purposes um, the north part is basically that and if you go towards the south here here we go yeah, towards the south, you will see that you know um, there's a massive developing development uh, happening because basically in some years, in ten or twenty years, I believe that Cancun is going to interconnect to the next uh, town or village that it's uh, Puerto Morelos, you know, and in between we have um, the um, airport, the Cancun airport. So this is what it, we call the new downtown or the new Cancun, um, the areas that they're developing right now, massive condominiums for, you know, upper middle class people, even for foreigners that they're looking to relocate. Um, and uh, there is a main uh, street that does that, that it's parallel or pretty much parallel to the 307 that it's Avenida Guayacan, all this way down. And in between uh, Avenida Guayacan on the, on the um, left hand side and right hand side, you see incredible condominium development, so as you know, luxury houses, and it's turning out to become a gourmet area with lots and lots of uh, entertainment, high end restaurants, and gourmet uh, areas to enjoy. And um, if you go further down, you will see that the development is not uh, stopping. It's anywhere, you know, it's even um, crossing uh, the premises of the, um, of the um, airport that is right here. And uh, you see that there are some golf courses and there are, um, you know, country clubs and polo areas and yeah. Uh, there's still a lot of places to develop, but you know, this is a little glimpse of where you would like to start exploring when you have come to Cancun and consider 
moving here either if it's a hotel zone that is pretty fancy if it has fantastic views but um, it's not so convenient to do daily tasks or if you want to live in the old central you know uh, that you know it's w really walkable um, it's really nice um, but you know when having a car it might not be the most convenient areas because it's hard to get a parking and stuff like that and houses are small um, in comparison to the very new area that is developing right now, that is El Nuevo Centro de Cancun, which is, uh, you know, the Guayacan area. Information useful so you can plan your next trip, short stay, middle term, or long stay, or even if you're thinking on relocating to Cancun. It's up to you to choose it in the north, the south, downtown area, um, Puerto Cancun that it's in between downtown or um, central or the fancy hotel zone. Any questions please write in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Bye bye!